What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a man? The nuclear bomb has brought the warrior instinct to its limits. I think at this point, we don't need to evolve that capacity in the same way we've evolved it. And so a lot of men have a question about what it means to be a man. Like, yeah, what is it? What is manhood? What is it to be a man? Uh, it's a little confusing. In fact, it's very confusing. <sighs> manhood to me, I have no idea. Certainly. I know for me personally, it's even to this day a struggle to to figure out which uh, which idea of masculinity you should accept. And what men are supposed to do now if we're not supposed to be waging war and pushing people and dominating people and throwing our physical or uh, mental strength on top of people. I didn't quite grow up with the dad, so like I, I can't even imagine it. I can barely. We do have to look a little bit at what the word man means in our contemporary society. What are the ideas I have about what it means to be a man and how are they currently affecting my life and my relationships? And do I want to keep them? Do I want to change them? Which parts do I like? Which parts do I not like? If you look up in uh, Merriam-Webster, you'll see that man means the human male, the bipedal primate, mammal, um, the, the male version of that. Uh, it also means human being. Often they talk about what is good for man. They mean human beings. Another aspect that's woven into this tapestry of what it means to be a man is bravery and courage. I think that masculinity means uh, control and individuality. We have often heard the expression, don't cry, be a man. Um, which sort of implies something around bravery and courage and not expressing emotion in that, in that way. Um, there's another way in which man is used, and that is to man the machine gun, or to man the front desk, or to man the computer, which means operate or to run, to make something happen. Because it's like, okay, so my wife's holding the baby, and she's nursing the baby, and she's like, I need a drink, so I fetch her the drink. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like in part, it's like the man's job is sort of like, you're like the runner. You like go and get things. And then you're kind of watching the perimeter. The word itself, um, just if you take the very surface level of definitions, is very complicated. So I feel like a lot of what we uh, have inherited, a lot of the attitudes that we've inherited about being a man come from this basic biological fact um, that a large portion of the human race does not directly give birth to children and therefore kind of ends up in a role of helping the person who is giving birth to the children. And I think a lot of that are our ideas about men as protectors and men as achievers or seekers come from that basic reality of our bodies. The answer is there is no answer. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to that question. As we attempt to answer what does it mean to be a man, we might ask the question. another question on top of the first question is, uh, which man are we talking about? It's up to each person to decide for themselves. Masculinity can be defined as um, the choosing of what masculinity means to you. So in a positive sense, I guess what it means to be a man is, I think part of that is just like fill your own body. Feel your own emotions. Uh, feel your, feel, or be aware of the thoughts in your mind, and recognize that just as a as a physical entity, you are like a you're a you're a pocket of energy, and you can direct that energy in different ways. And if you go back to this whole thing of the man who fetches water for the woman. It's like you're directing your energy to help promote life. I feel like manhood is being able to stay with your family, being able to just be there for them through thick and thin. And then that, that in some ways applies to any human organism. It's your pocket of energy and you can go and promote life. On this site, we'll, we'll present some different ideas about what it means to be a man. Um, and you can look at them and see, does this one fit? Does this one fit? And you can look, you know, if, if I take this on as, as what it means to be a man, how does that, how will that affect my life? How does that affect how I feel about myself? How does that affect my relationships? Every man has 
the right to um, choose what masculinity means and um, I think that's I think that is masculine in itself if somebody takes a really deliberate approach to finding out what that is.